Welcome back, guys, to Captive Minecraft 2, episode number 3. I did some stuff off camera. We've got a little, a little containment box here for some bonuses, which I hope to get. We're going to start replacing the glass in the room of requirements. I built a staircase to save, uh, save some of my hunger bar. That was a suggestion from the comments, and it was a good one. So I said, okay, I'll make a, I'll make a staircase. That sounds like a good idea. So we've got this box here. Uh, I'm assuming like previous, like the previous Captive Minecraft map, that new stuff is gonna spawn on that, and that's the only one I've found. So I built a staircase going down to save some hunger bar. We can go ahead and come down here to the room of requirements. Um, yeah, the staircase comes down here, and then it continues all the way down there through the little sewer system dungeon, whatever you want to call it, that we found last time. It was like a, uh, a fortress, or uh, a stronghold, rather, a stronghold with some water channels in it. Um, and we've got this glass here. I sort of, I thought you might need to replace those three blocks with the glass, or with the stained clay, but I wasn't sure, and I didn't want to break something I couldn't replace. So so where's the red one? Red. Okay, how are you supposed to even get to that one? <laughs> I don't know. I guess you have to build a block up. But people have confirmed in the comments that's how you do it. I sort of guessed that much, but I wasn't sure. I still think that the map should... Hey, monument complete. So I did it right. I still think that the map should tell you what to do. It should be a little bit more explicit. I don't think you should have to go to a website or watch a video. Um, it's pretty close to being there, I think. Just, just a little, a little hint. Say like, uh, replace glass or something like that. Something very simple could be. What do we get? Oh, we got mushrooms. Okay, and I guess we could breed them eventually. I don't have any wheat. That's pretty good though. So one thing I have found in one of the chests was wooden bowls, and I, I could have made mushroom soup from that if I was gonna run low on food. I still have five cooked pork chops, which should last a little bit. I wonder, um, I'm kind of curious, do they stack now or not? They've been ch making updates to food periodically through the patches and snapshots. Hey guys, mm, delicious back you have there. I'm just gonna scrape some of your back fungus off, literally. No, it does not, okay, yeah, that's a little bit inconvenient, but it is a a never-ending supply of food, which is nice. Nice to have, should I run out of pork chops, which I probably will fairly soon. Okay, I'm gonna put these back, and I'll put the, the mushroom soup back and use them if I run out of that. So I got a staircase running down. I found a few chests we're gonna go check out before we head down to deeper and more dangerous areas. One thing I wanna do eventually, maybe for next episode, is I wanna start uh, tunneling out this center section, and I'm gonna put a water source block there and a tunnel vertical tunnel a shaft a mine shaft all the way down um, And continue to expand it as we go deeper and deeper. We're currently at 211. We have quite a ways to go Basically what I want to do is when I'm ready to go adventuring again I just want to jump down and get straight to the action uh, Let's see I, I smelted up some iron. I've got 53 now, so I think we'll just Unless I start to run a little bit low, I'm just gonna use iron tools and iron weapons. We still need diamonds. I've got quite a bit of blocks, a little bit more iron ore. Let's go check out what we did last time and let's go get those chests. So we've been through the, the basic caves here and then we, we ran into some some mine shafts right down here. I had to... the. The staircase is kind of blocked off right there to keep spiders from coming out. There's a spawner there, which I can't quite light up sufficiently yet until we expand the world border a little bit more. And then as we come down some more, I think I found a new little section of mine shaft and got a little bit more wood. Somewhere around there, I think. And then maybe it was this one, actually. I think it may have been this one. It was kind of the same thing, though. Didn't take too much to conquer. Okay, moving on down. Uh, we've already been here. 
This is the skeleton spawner we found, a little dungeon. And then down here is the aqueduct level, and I found a couple of chests. I think one is right here in the ceiling. We've got a cookie, some arrows, pumpkin pie, gold nuggets, and feather falling one chain boots. Um, let's see, I currently have six and a half armor bars. Okay, so that's less armor, but it gives me feather falling. We, maybe we're gonna need that in a minute. And I'll show you why in just a bit. Uh, let's see, there was another one. There's a chest there, I can't quite get to that one yet. Here it is. And the, the block above it, there was a block above it. It was a silverfish block. Thank goodness nothing bad happened. Oh, hi fellow, where are you going? Why are you going over there? Need a bath? Okay, but dirt blocks and a bucket. I already made some buckets on my own. Dirt block means, hey! Dirt block means we can do some farming. And I've got enough bones from killing skeletons that we can, oh, hi. There's, uh, there's spawners in these walls and they may be set to custom data to where they, yeah, let's go up and farm because that will expand the world border and then we can get that and do a few other things. And I also want to heal and uh, it's good to use my f hunger bar going up the stairs and then use the food. Just trying to, to min max all of my item usage while we're in the scarcity part of the map. I assume it's gonna last a little while longer. Uh, but I got some dirt, I've got enough bones and I have some seeds now. Well, I think I got some seeds some time ago. Yeah, right there. So let's grab the hoe. Just, I guess the efficiency five hoe will be fine. And we'll grab the bones. And what did this one have? Thorns one, yeah, I don't really wanna use that one. And we can drop some of this other stuff off. I don't need the extra bucket or the extra food. All right, let's go do a little farming. I guess we'll do it up there. I don't want to put any, I don't want to put anything in here. In fact, eventually I'm going to move this stuff out of here. I want it to be just for uh, the blocks we've completed. Keep it looking fairly pristine and nice. So these guys are here. Let's put a farm right here. Very small. All right. Oh, and there's no water source, is there? Well, look at that. I've got... A bucket. Um, I guess I'll just do that. And I'll refill it from an infinite spring when I go back down below. There, now we can do that. We can do this. And we can make some bone meal. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to do enough to get three wheat. I wonder. Will we get the cow tipping and breeding achievement from killing and breeding these guys? I'm I'm kind of curious about that. We may go ahead and breed them since I do have, I have a decent amount of the bone meal. Huh. I actually wasn't sure what it took to breed them. I don't know that I've done that in, in some time. Okay. And we'll do this until I have well, I guess three wheat. And I, I didn't get an achievement from that. But anyway, it's the next achievement in this direction would be cow tipper harvest some leather. And let's go ahead and let's just make some. Some extras. There we go. Okay, that's probably good. So I wonder, ouch. Oh, that's not good. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Before I, before I really uh, get myself into trouble trying to min-max too much. No. no. <laughs> They're like, why would you do that? Why would you do such a thing? Uh, sorry, I was experimenting with the achievement tree and your friend had to die. And I still have two of you, so I'm not so worried about it. Uh, anyway, let's use the crafting bench here. We need to get this one, yeah, this one. Turn wheat in the bread. And we'll keep the rest for breeding purposes. And we just got another expansion of the world border. What I'm wondering is, 
now that I've done that, let's put all this away. Now that I've done that, will there be the orange stained clay podium? Is it available now? Lime. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't available before. I'm assuming on purpose. Green. That's blue. Magenta. They give you the red and the orange right at the get-go. There's yellow. Lime. Okay. Um, I guess I can't get it yet. White. What's this one? Cl clay. All right. Uh, well, I can definitely do the clay one for sure. Uh, so unless I missed it somehow and totally overlooked it, um, I don't think I have it yet. And I can't quite see what that is yet. Maybe one of those. Okay, so we're going to have to wait. Okay, let's look at the achievements. For this one, we need chickens. We don't have chickens. I was kind of hoping we'd get another bonus, but I guess not yet. Harvest some leather. Don't have cows. Sniper duel. The map's not big enough for that yet. Apparently, you can do this one now, though. Let's see. Over here. Catch and cook a delicious fish. We can definitely do that now. I think what I want to do right off the bat, though, is I want to go get that one chest that was, that was visible. It was seemed like it was easy to get. And there may be a few other things we can do. I know as... Oh, yeah, things like this. And now my entire staircase needs to be one block outwards, but no, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna leave it where it is. Every time the... Yeah, and there's some coal that I can now get. Uh, I'm not really worried about the coal right now, though. I have a pretty decent amount. Every time the world border expands, you gotta go basically and look at all the walls everywhere. There's some more iron. Awesome, I definitely have a decent supply of iron right now. Alright, moving on down. Okay, and this is definitely exposed. Oh! Bane of Arthropods and Unbreaking One, Sting. Awesome. Okay, there's that chest. And I'll go ahead and get this piece of iron and this piece of iron. And I still haven't showed you what's next. I was building the staircase down and got to a point where I couldn't really build anymore. And I, I didn't want to explore the new stuff off camera anyway. So I waited. Oh, there's some more wood. Very nice. Let's go ahead and grab this and this. And I hear some some spiders, which is not good news. But they're they're pretty easy to deal with, to be honest. All right. Uh, maybe you know what? Tell you what. I'll probably do most of this um, scraping the walls action off camera. After this, let me just get this one last little vein. We'll go see if we can find any new chests. We'll do that on on camera. We'll take a peek at what's below, and then I'll, I'll script the walls off camera, and then we'll do some proper adventuring. Oh, there's a torch right there. I can just do that, and the light will sort of reach around. All right. Oh, this is not my staircase, though. Where did my staircase go? This is not my staircase, though. Where did my staircase go? Here it is. Yoinks! Okay. So I know there's one right next to the wall. One thing I can do, I can do, I can break that and put a torch there, which will help a lot keeping those guys. These jerks from spawning. Whoa! He leapt at me. He leapt at me. Okay, any new? No, okay. No new chests there. Lots of goodies in the walls. It's like Christmas. Every time we get a, two achievements, I, I guess it's every other achievement, not every achievement. And I don't think there was anything here. All right, uh, nothing there, I don't think. So let's just go down uh, to where I, I know there's a chest. And also I can break that now and have an unobstruct unobstructed staircase. And there is a piece of reed there. We need uh, one, two, three, four more achievements to get the reed, which will allow us to do a lot of things. Reeds are super duper important. There's water above there. What do we have? Enchant Enchanted flame one. I could hear his feet. 
Okay, where did you come from? You were running and then you fell on my head. Did you come from up there? Yeah, that was there. I couldn't really go up. I think that's okay because there's only one spot below there. Um, I couldn't really come up here adequately because these water blocks were on the other side of the world border. Let's take a peek in here. There are definitely spawners in the walls somewhere. They may be custom spawners where they have a, a weird range or um, custom location data or whatever. I'm not sure. I haven't found any in the walls. The only spawners I've found have been available. Enchanted book, flame one. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. Okay. Did I get everything? I think so. Lots of nuggets. All right. So here we've got... Bum, bum, bum. We've got some emerald ore, which means we're definitely in a new area. There's a piece of gold ore there. Um, I think you probably need the iron pickaxe for that, right? I guess so. I'm not sure, but uh, I didn't want to risk it. So actually, as soon as this stone pickaxe is done, uh, I'm just going to stick to the... I'm just gonna stick to the iron tools because I've got a pretty good amount of it. All right, so here is a new area. Look at this. There are all kinds of monsters down here and it looks like there's there's a significant drop here. Hello. Let's see if these guys come over here to play. Whoa, no, no, no. I do not want you exploding right now. So a lot of this staircase, it's, there's nothing beneath it. There's just the void. Uh, well, it's not void, but you know, there's a gap until the ground below, and I don't want to just get knocked off. That would be terrible. There's another creeper right there. All right. Whoa. Okay. Good. That's fine, I guess. Let's make this nice and bright so nothing else spawns up here. And we've got some ore. And I'm, I'm kind of worried about getting shot off, so we can be a little bit careful here. But we've got a lot of stuff here. I think maybe a water spout might be in order to uh, be able to fall down and be able to climb up. I don't have enough wood to make ladders in, in any significant number. Okay, so I think what I'll do, I think this area is kind of safe right now, is I'm going to essentially cherry pick the area. And all of the walls up above. There's a yeah, there's a skeleton right there. It's a tricksy tricksy place. I'm gonna take all the stuff out, and then we will head down there to try and uh, conquer the place. All right, here we go. So we've got this incredibly vertical system, some floating islands, that kind of thing. Let me uh, let me just break this block. I don't want any of these zombies jumping down here, actually. I don't want them chasing us. So I'm gonna do that so that we're left a little bit alone. If I have to bust through there to run away or whatever, that should definitely be possible. Look at that. You see this spider climbing up here? Okay, so this is kind of dangerous. And I can't place that there because he's right there. Let's see if I can hit him. Take that, spider. All right, he's dead. So let's take a look. Uh, we've got quite a bit of a fall here. There's an iron block right there. You know what we can do. Oh, don't get shot right here. Okay. Good. I think actually, if I do, actually, let's make a uh, let's make an infinite spring first. Then we'll do that. Infinite spring first, then that. Okay. Uh, that wasn't the best place to put it down. There we go, infinite spring. So I can make a, a series of these little water plunges to go down and up. It's it's mostly gonna be an emergency way to get up, not the safest way to get up, but a, at least a way to get up. Okay, and can I reach this block? No. But that's going directly into that slot, that's good. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to go about going down here. I guess we'll just do it in increments. I need to be kind of down there. I don't have a good way to get down there without uh, going down here. Let's try... 
Hmm. This is an interesting problem. See, the thing is, I could just uh, jump down there, but uh, it's rather risky. I want to I wanna outsmart the area. I want to be better than the area. <laughs> I want to do things in a smarter way. Okay, well, we need to place some blocks. Hopefully I don't get shot too bad. There, see? No problem. That's what I needed, just that. That wasn't so bad. Okay, good. So now we have kind of a staircase going down. Let's grab that iron. I'm just grabbing it to get out of the way. I'm gonna wait till until it's kind of safe here to harvest stuff for reals. Get out of here. And you two, you can actually, you can stay there. You're not so bad. Okay, and then we've got darkness over there. Not worried about the creepers, more worried about skeletons. And are you swimming up my water stream? I don't think you are. You better not be. Oh gosh. That's what I was worried about. Where are you? Where are you? Shoot again. Who shoot? There's an enemy going crazy. Oh god. He is on the other side of this emerald right here. Let's see if we can see him. Yeah, see the arrows sticking out of the wall there? Yep. He's just on the other side of the world border. Good. Okay, let's let's make a bridge over there then. And then we can light this up. And let's make like a little barrier here. So if I hop down here, it won't get shut off. Just take it step by step. Light up one side and then the other. Move in a very incremental system. Okay, good. Okay, shoot this guy off. Bye-bye. You're still there. And I don't have that many arrows, to be honest. I've got... Well, I've got 17 left. Okay, so I can't get that chest yet until we get another achievement. I thought about doing the fishing achievement, but that would only get us half a block. We need two to be, get access to a new block entirely. So I decided it wasn't really worth it. Let's come over here, we'll light this up. I still need to light that one up. And yeah, I need to be real careful not to get shot as we move around. Hi. You're dead. Okay, good. We're making progress. This is kind of nerve-wracking, but it's it's not too bad if we take it in steps. Um, like, getting shot off by a, a skeleton is always the biggest danger. If we get knocked down there, look at all those monsters. There's a lot of things down there, a lot of nastiness. Okay, let's get a torch over here. Awesome. Okay, this little island I claim in the name of France. And I won't worry about picking, uh, getting all the mineral stuff until we're done. That's going to be worth a lot of experience. Hopefully we get down to the diamond level soon and we can, uh, we can do some enchanting. All right, so I think the next thing to do would be to move down here. Let's just do this. Boink, boink, boink. All right, and there's a few things spawned over there. I don't know if um, this particular snapshot allows you to spawn things outside of the world border or if these are some kind of custom spawner command blocked type scenario going on. I asked uh, a few people about it. I asked Seth Bling and he wasn't even aware that it was possible. So take that, Seth Bling. Don't even know how to play the game. Oh God. Uh, don't do, do this. Yes. Okay, because I was about to get shot again. Where are you? You're way over here. And I can shoot through the world border too, sucker. Oh my gosh, that was so close. All right. Um, we've done this much. Let me get my water source block. We're moving downwards. And we will conquer this area for sure. Just need to be careful. Okay. Good. We're moving downwards. Let's continue moving downwards and just keep an eye out for skeletons over there. I want to conserve my food as much as possible. There's gold. There is all kinds of stuff down here. Holy cow. Um, I want to, I want to go down, but I don't have a good way. Are there skeletons down here? I'm looking for skeletons. There's definitely at least a few. 
and I'm looking for something to connect to. <laughs> I don't have anything. Okay, let's. I guess we can start using this. I've been kind of saving it up for when I really needed it, and now we can use it. And I'm going to build down this way. Okay, good. And we're down. Okay. Let's look out behind us. Actually, I'm going to make this a little wall so nothing can shoot us from that direction. Holy moly. Okay, got have to be very careful. Very careful here. Uh, light to summon increments. Oh, man, what I wouldn't give for a lava bucket right now. There's a guy. Hi. Yeah, shoot each other. Yes. Not me. Each other. Make records and little babies. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't mind that. <laughs> Do that some more. Do that some more. Uh, let's see. There's an island over there. Eventually, we could get around to lighting this up and that up. Of course, the more we light up, the more spawns there's going to be here. We're going to have like a max spawn situation. Lighting it up is going to be kind of tough. Can I do this? Can they get up here if I like just stay just out of their line of sight? Yeah, well, he, I think he came from outside the world border and I knocked him down there. So if I get knocked down there, I'm definitely screwed. And they're, they're fighting each other, which is awesome. Yeah, keep doing that, guys. Okay, so what we need now, uh, I'm gonna light up the stuff around, oh god. I'm gonna light up the stuff around here. One of the guys down there shot me. Whoops. There's a chest there, awesome. Okay, let's, can I make a bridge here? Nobody see me. Do they see me? There seem to be a, oh, creeper spawner. Okay, stay away. No, don't blow up my chest, Creeper. Okay, well, that's... Oh, that's actually okay, because you blew up the... You blew up the iron bar around the chest. And I wonder if there's... I wonder if there's anything... A block above it? There is. Okay, sweet. <laughs> no silverfish. I was worried about that. Am I seriously out of blocks? I guess I've been using a lot. Ooh, a sapling. That is huge. I've only got two pieces of dirt, but I will definitely use one to start making some trees. And there is a uh, creeper spawner somewhere. It may be outside of the world border and have some custom data to, to have it spawn here. No, it's right there. Okay, we can definitely use that in the future. I'm not destroying that. I am definitely not destroying that. All right, well, let's take that uh, let's take that out of here. I think I'm going to consider that a good place to end the episode. We still have all of this to deal with next episode. There's a witch. Great. There's a witch there. Uh, okay, I'm not going to take it that way. I'm going to take the real way. Hello. Um, hi. Shoot me all you like. No, actually, don't do that. Ouch. Oh, it hurts. I give up. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, and that's outside the world border. So this is actually a pretty good place to uh, to retreat for a little bit and get the sapling out of here safely so we can start farming up those trees and not have to worry about wood anymore. That'll be pretty good. I hadn't really gotten low on wood. I've been fairly efficient with my use of it. And now we should have a never-ending supply. We can break this so we can get out of here. Um, there's zombie spawners right around here somewhere. I have not found them yet. Whoop! yeah, there's one right there. A zombie, not a spawner. All right, so uh, keep leaving your feedback on the episode, things I should do to make it more efficient. This staircase was somebody's idea, and I thought it was a pretty good one. Next time, we're going to keep exploring that area, try to get diamonds for an achievement. And if we do, we will, I guess we'll go fishing to get another achievement and have access to a whole other block in every direction. Hope you enjoy the video. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.